What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Saturday night, party night, uh, September 16th, 2023, about 10.42 p.m. California time here along the West Coast. Latest activity, 4.2 coming into the area. Looks like uh, the Middle America Trench down here across the Mexico area. That is the latest quake there on the globe. Uh, looking at the bigger picture today, we did see a little bit of activity stirring up down here across the South America region down around the Chile area. Uh, seen a couple fives here in the last couple hours or so. A relatively shallow movement. This area can see some rather deep earthquakes. Uh, but for now, a little bit of uh, moderate quake activity stirring up down there across South America. Let's go ahead and scoot up here to the north around the states and see what we have nothing major going on across the eastern portion of the country uh, up into the pacific northwest one earthquake being reported outside of mount rainier nothing showing up here around mount st helens but we are still seeing some movement on the seismograph stations that we checked earlier uh, but nothing as far as major activity goes there's an earthquake here at the southern end of the cascadia subduction zone a 2.3 just off the coast of Eureka early this morning, about 23 kilometers deep into that subduction zone. Let's check out the tremor map here tonight and see what we have real quick. 140 epicenters of tremor, a little bit in Northern California and um, the rest up into the uh, Washington area. It's been somewhat of a uh, elevated week. Um, looks like, let's see what we got for a total tally over the past week. About 1,474 epicenters. You can see the uh, subduction zone out there quite nicely. We really haven't seen too much up north here. Uh, could see that fill in as we uh, go about here in the future. All right, a little bit of activity here outside of the Oroville region, a 2.9 near Biggs. It's north of Gridley here off 99. Uh, 11, well, 1.1 kilometers deep now. This earthquake has not been reviewed. A lot of these earthquakes here on the weekend was put out by a preliminary earthquake reporting system. And, uh, probably won't be until Monday till they get to, uh, reporting that earthquake, seeing if that's actually a legit earthquake or not may get revised. Uh, still seeing some movement here across the Cobb Mountain area of California, Clear Lake, Vol Clear Lake Volcanic Field. Near Cobb Mountain. These, of course, are the Calpine hydrothermal operations there. Uh, there's a whole process involved, which, well, it does create some earthquake activity as well, but uh, it's very typical to see some movement up there, like it's doing. Long Valley Super Volcano, pretty quiet. Uh, we've got one earthquake outside the Bishop area, 2.1. Southern California, anything major going on? Looks like a little movement here across the Los Angeles area earlier this afternoon. 2.5, 10 kilometers deep, along with a 1.6 there. So slight activity occurring. Looks like that's off of the Newport Inglewood Rose Canyon fault zone. California, the Southern California area is just riddled with vault systems. I'm sure some that we haven't even discovered yet. Uh, the rest of the uh, southern portion of the state, uh, let's see what we got for 2.5 and above. Just seen that 2.8 here near the uh, Banning area off the San Andreas Fault in that 2.5 earlier in the Los Angeles region. Most of this activity here, generally small microquake activity. All right, moving up to the north here, Alaska, very minimal. Things have really dropped off here across the Alaska region. Not a whole lot of movement up there tonight. Uh, up into the uh, Kamchatka area, Russia region, 4.4. 188 kilometers deep, along with a little bit of activity further down across the Curl Islands for a 4.5. Most of the movement here today kind of looks like it's spreading up here across the plate boundary, off the plate boundary here. Uh, let's see what we got further upon inspection here. The last one, a 4.5 north here, the Philippines. 35 kilometers deep, low activity up through China as well. Uh, noticing a lack of activity here across the Tonga Trench and the Kermadec Trench. New Zealand picking up on some threes, it looks like. So let's go check out the GeoNet servers here from for the New Zealand area. There's that 4.4 yesterday. Uh, doesn't look like there's been anything else reported out here as far as the DigiFillet reports. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the drums here, and that'll give us a good indicator. Maybe something else going on out here, but I don't think we've seen too much activity down there in New Zealand. Looks like a quiet, absolutely quiet day out there 
across New Zealand in the last 24 hours. Goodness. Quiet for now, but continue to watch that area when they go quiet. Sometimes uh, things do kick up. Uh, Big Island of Hawaii, of course, Kilauea Volcano still continuing. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the latest information statement here from the HVO. It's put out today. Uh, the eruption that began back on the September 10th time frame continues this morning. Uh, eruptive activity is confined there to the down drop block of the crater within Kilauea Summit Caldera. So it doesn't look like anything has changed except for I noticed this morning a uh, great decrease uh, at several of the vents. We noticed that in the uh, live stream there and some of those webcam Im imagery. Uh, so continue to watch that. Um, things could kick back up. They could die down. They could be, uh, you know, just taking a little pause. We'll continue to watch that eruption there across the Kilauea volcano. All right, uh, further to the west, there's some movement out in China. A little bit of activity around the Caspian Sea. That's from earlier this afternoon, it looks like, about 10 kilometers deep. One earthquake up here in Romania from early, well, late last night, it looks like, 3.8. Um, see what we got far as the uh, globe goes here. 2.7 coming up into the Turkey area, it looks like. And uh, still a little bit of movement out there around the Morocco area. That's going to continue for a little while. You know, it's not going to completely die off because, uh, you know, that larger earthquake that struck out here. Uh, I think it's been over a week now, right? It has. That's uh, definitely going to, you know, trigger up some aftershock activity for quite some time. Let's see if we got anything else. Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. South Sandwich Trench there did see a 5.0 earlier this morning. Uh, so looking at this map right now, uh, hard to say exactly where we're looking at uh, for some potential movement. It's quite active generally across the globe here. Uh, but I expect no doubt for areas quiet to fill in around Kermadec Trench and the Tonga Trench. If it doesn't, I'd be surprised overnight. All right, space weather activity. Well, getting into that blackout phase right now. Always around 10 o'clock or 10.30 or so. Uh, we did see some uh, flaring popping off here. Of course, that filament eruption that uh, did kick off. It was Earth-directed. Um, not for sure if that's going to... Well, it looks like we may have a little enhancement here on the 19th. I'll have to pay close attention to that, see if any of that's headed our way. As uh, far as sunspot activity goes, uh, there's a few of them here. 3429 uh, has been a source of uh, quite a few M flares and C flares. And uh, it looks like it's degrading. Look at that. Notice how quickly these things just die away. That does not look complex at all. A lot of separation there between the cores, and it's just it's rapidly died, dying. Uh, and back behind that, there's not a whole lot here on the visible disk. Maybe these other areas that are stretching across the western limb, but those are going to be out of sight, out of mind here uh, tomorrow morning or so. We do have a fairly large sunspot region up here on the eastern limb that uh, looks quite noteworthy of uh, maybe some stronger flaring. It looks like 34, 35 is that new sunspot coming around the bend. We'll continue to watch that uh, for some flaring. Right now, 95% chance for a C flare, M flare at 35. X flare remains at about 5% chance, and um, no major war is currently taking place as far as the, uh, the three day goes. But uh, again, we'll continue to watch maybe for that filament eruption, which uh, lifted off here yesterday, right? I think it was yesterday. Uh, we'll see if that reaches the Earth. Um, anything, <clears throat> anything going on here with uh, what do we got left of uh, Lee up here? I don't think there's much left here. Uh, current warnings and whatnot still show some tropical storm warnings out there across the uh, mainly Nova Scotia region it looks like maximum sustained winds around four or uh, 60 miles per hour movement towards the northeast about 14 so that is going to be uh, scooting out of there and what's left let's go ahead and check out the model imagery out here and see how the uh, weather patterns are gonna it looks like a little bit of rain potential out here along the west coast um, Thursday into Friday, September 21st, 22nd time period. That's kind of cool. I definitely need some cooler weather. Maybe some type of tropical development trying to form out here off the coast of uh, Florida area. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Doesn't look like it has time to develop, but uh, 
Yeah, we got uh, what looks like some cooler weather coming out here to the west coast. Let's check out these assembles here. Of course, hot and dry. I, I'm hoping today was our last 90 degree day. It's supposed to be dipping down into the uh, 80s here pretty soon. So there's our troughing coming up here for the west coast, indicating there by the blue, followed up by another deep low pressure off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. It's gonna be awesome to see some cooler weather here. And um, let me check out the North American area. This gives us a very good indicator of what's going on globally here. Um, that's the 14th, we're past that. Put this into motion and see what we got. High pressure still wants to remain parked up here, way up north. That, um, that could obviously, looks like it does want to increase some troughing further downstream from this high pressure, which would mean uh, more stormier weather, cooler weather out here across the state. So uh, not good news for Canada because they're underneath the uh, influence there of some high pressure. There's that, look at that major troughing going on here. Uh, I like the signs of that. We'll continue to watch that for the West Coast. And um, let's hope that high pressure doesn't build back in. But either way. It's an El Nino year, and uh, we'll see how things play out with the winter time. We're coming up in sometime in November. It's supposed to be our rainy season here along the West Coast. But uh, either way, I'm looking forward to the cooler weather, and um, we'll see how it goes. Yellowstone National Park, I don't think we've got anything major going on there. Really no, uh, no earthquakes at all. Maybe a handful of very small ones. These are probably all underneath a 1.0 threshold. So on that note, folks, hope everyone has a good Saturday night, the rest of it, and have a good Sunday tomorrow. Of course, we'll be back here Sunday morning, and uh, we'll do it again. I don't know, maybe I might make it a, I don't know if I want to barbecue. I might I barbecue whenever my mind tells me that it's time to barbecue. I don't like making barbecue plans. They just happen. So I might take advantage of the cooler weather and uh, see how it uh, plays out. All right, folks, have a good night. Stay safe, and we will chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Take care.